I met Frank Brett and I live 202 Jordan Avenue. I am for business and for a new business coming to the city of Tallahassee. I do not like this residential lot being changed from small town mix to general business. I do not like spot zoning in residential areas. Traffic is now a problem on Jordan Avenue. Developers must apply and be granted a permit to connect to a state highway. Engineering, traffic patterns, access management, traffic flow, and so on have to be resolved. Has the city or the state completed any surveys of this type? I know that Mr. Louis has said that entrance and going in and out on will be located on West James Street. Perhaps the state does not have to be involved when you're going in and out or into a city street. Is this a way to get around the issues with the state? I will run in and out into West James Street, alleviate traffic issue on Jordan Avenue. One still will have to enter Jordan Avenue to go left or right. I did a partial traffic, uh, traffic count on February the 1st from 6.45 in the morning to 8 o'clock in the morning. There were 709 vehicles. That was going south. In the afternoon, that same day on the afternoon, I counted again the vehicles coming back north from 2.30 to 4 o'clock, and I quit then. There were 842 vehicles. Traffic did not slow down until after 6 p.m. I had already quit counting before then. Estimated that approximately 2,500 vehicles a day are passing in front of my house, either going north or south. More vehicles using Jordan Avenue could slow down emergency vehicles going to the hospital or going down to Montgomery to the hospital in that direction. Ambulances. And also the fire truck. You know, several years ago we had a house. Our house caught on fire. Within a few minutes, fortunately, we lived close enough in the fire department there. But suppose they got, had gotten caught up in traffic down there. Then that would have been another issue. We'd have lost our home. There's a major school crossing there with a traffic guard during the morning and evening and afternoon. However, we are concerned for our children's safety. Our children are going to school in the afternoon and other times they're going to football practice, basketball, and so on. So they're using that street sidewalk to go up and have to cross the street. Has the EPA or the health department been notified that a restaurant will soon be coming, be occupying this lot? Now, I understand that buildings, there are some buildings on the lot have in the past been used for greenhouses? Has a study been made regarding con con contamination? DDT, you know, was the main thing back, probably when these gardens were there, uh, hot house, whatever. And that, uh, does this need to be removed before a restaurant? If there is there, does this need to be removed? I would not like to be eating by the DDT and all that's been in the past. Trash is another issue. We already have sandwich wrappers from all Jack, Hardy's, Dairy Queen, McDonald's. Sometimes we pick up traffic uh, trash twice a day. Not only that type, but these garbage trucks going to that dump over on it. They spilled a lot of uh, rubbish. Another morning, I was coming across the bridge, five big cardboard boxes on the bridge were blown out of somebody's vehicle. There are plenty of places in Tyler that are already zoned general business. These spaces or on the full line, such as Gilman Avenue and over to, on the Notasauga Road, or what we refer to as a rabbit store at the end of the city limits. Thank you very much. Thank you for your comments. Next. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Captain W. Howard. And I have recently moved to the neighborhood. Uh, I currently live at 104 Jordan. It's the lot right next door. And, and I really want to express the fact that I do oppose the fact that this should be used or considered as a restaurant location. Uh, my, over the years, I, I've admired that neighborhood because of the character and the charm that it offered. The older houses uh, 
had all of them seemed to have a, a story to tell. And I wanted to be a part of that. Uh, and moving to that area, I found that several other, I've met with several other people that live in the area and, and they seem to express that same charm that I felt, that admiration that I felt moving into that neighborhood. Uh, and I think placing a restaurant in that area would totally devastate the charm and the character that that neighborhood offers. That's all I understand. Thank you for your comments, Nick. Hi, my name is Cameron Cahey. I live at 306 Jordan Avenue. I'll try to be very quick because I know there's a lot of people that oppose this would still like to speak. Um, I must say, as we've been talking to people about this, people are telling us that we are opposing Louis Chicken Fingers. We want them to come here. We want the revenue. We are pro-business. We want it for Tallahassee. It has nothing to do with it being in our neighborhood. There are lots of places that can be taken advantage of that are already zoned for commercial. We love our neighborhood. I feel it's very safe there. We let our kids play out in the road. Not in the road. <laughs> I hope nobody's seen that. Um, every time it's a nice day, we have them in the front yard, in the backyard. We are very safe in the neighborhood, despite what other people are saying about our neighborhood being poor. Um, we like it, and we like living there, and we don't want a restaurant there. Thank you for your comments, Nate. 